Hi, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop, and today we're going to be making a Star Wars treat box. I tried to do my hair like Princess Leia today. I hope it kind of looks like it. Truthfully, I have never seen any Star Wars movies in full, but my brother-in-law is a huge fan, and this is for his birthday. In this tutorial, I'm not really going to show you how to bake any of the stuff because I've done all of the things on my channel several times, but I am going to show you how to decorate them. So you can either check out the links below down in the description box, which will lead you to all of the different videos that I've done where I've made similar desserts, or you can even use your own recipes, or conversely, you can use store-bought items as well and then just decorate them in Star Wars theme. Our first item here is really easy to make. You're going to take some white chocolate and it really doesn't matter what color it is. I just had some leftover purplish bluish color, but we're going to be airbrushing it anyway. And then you're going to let that set in the fridge. While that's setting up in the fridge, we're going to make the filling that's going to go inside. Now, mostly it's going to be peanut butter, but if you've ever had a Reese cup before, then you know it's kind of like almost a little bit chalky. It's not super, super smooth tasting in the middle. So I'm going to add a little bit of icing sugar. Now, there are no exact measurements to that because it really depends on what type of filling you want. If you want it to be a bit smoother, then I would take away a little bit of that icing sugar. Now I'm using some really good quality chocolate. The reason that I'm saying you need to use good quality chocolate Chocolate is because since this is primarily a chocolate treat in which you're really, really going to taste the quality difference, you do need to use something that has a really great snap. My brother-in-law isn't a huge fan of dark chocolate, but I do need to balance out some of that sugar in the filling. So I used a one-to-one -one ratio of dark chocolate chips, which are still fairly sweet, and 85% dark chocolate, which is quite bitter. Make sure to be very generous with that peanut butter filling and then pop it in the fridge before you add on that final layer of chocolate. To expedite the process, you can stick all of these things in the freezer and it really won't take that long. I would say 10 to 15 minutes for everything to set. Once everything has set up, then you can go ahead and airbrush the top with some galaxy colors. I'm using electric blue and some black and then I'm going to splatter on some white food coloring for the stars. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add on a few of these golden pearls because you guys know how much I love adding gold to everything. And then dot with some royal icing if you desire. Now, I really had to research for this item. Like I said, I haven't really seen a Star Wars movie in totality, so I had to look this up. Now, in Disney World, they sell something called a Bantha cookie on top of this drink looking thing. So I thought I would make a Bantha cupcake. You can do this with either white modeling chocolate or you can do it with fondant. Today, I am doing it with fondant. And as you saw there, all I did was I kind of rolled this thing into a worm-like shape, but making sure that one end is thicker than the other and kind of making it like a cone, a very, very long cone. And then I'm taking my cake tool and making these indents. They're going to be the horns on this bantha. My whole goal with this treat box was to make things not super overtly Star Wars. So what I mean by that, if you are in the Disney bounding world, then you might understand. It's like where you dress up as a character, but instead of just wearing costume clothes that you would find around Halloween time, you actually take elements of that character and then just wear normal clothing. So I'm kind of trying to model my desserts after that, just taking little elements instead of doing the full on character. All right, now we're going to make the peanut butter frosting for the cupcakes. This frosting is absolutely delicious. I will post the recipe down in the description box below. It is not my recipe. I don't feel like reinventing the wheel when there are so many amazing recipes out there already. So as you can see here, the peanut butter frosting has a delightful color. I'm adding in more color to give it that coloring of that creature. And it's very hairy and brown and has different shades of brown. So so this will be our one shade of brown and then the chocolate ganache that we're going to pipe on as well will be the other shade of brown. Now this frosting is so delightfully fluffy so it will pipe really really well using a big grass tip. Don't try to do this with a small grass tip, you need a large one. If you do it with a small one, things tend to get clogged a lot more easily and you will be sitting there piping for a long long time. 
For this ganache that I'm piping on here, I used a two to one ratio. So I used about 200 grams of chocolate with 100 grams of whipping cream. Make sure that you melt that chocolate down in a double boiler and then just whip in that whipping cream. And then I add in a generous amount of butter. That just really helps things solidify properly. With ganache, you do want to let it set up in the fridge, but not too much because you still want it to be pipeable. Now I'm adding in all those little horns and then putting on some sprinkles. Moving along to the chocolate chip wookie. Honestly, this cookie is my favorite cookie of all time, so I highly suggest you go check out the recipe down in the description box below. Now what I'm doing is I'm cutting little squares to act as part of the belt that Chewbacca usually wears. I'm using white fondant to create this, but you could use modeling chocolate or really anything that you can think of that's edible. Now I'm using about 50% modeling chocolate and 50% fondant to create the band itself that's going to go on the cookie. I decided to make this with modeling chocolate because I wanted it to be something that went along with the chocolate chip cookie flavor. Because we are using modeling chocolate today, we don't need to have any extra stuff to adhere this to the cookie. The heat of your hand will help melt the modeling chocolate just slightly so it adheres perfectly. Adhere those little squares with just a tiny dab of water. Add a strip down the center and then you can take a cake tool to make little indents. Moving along to treat number four, these are super easy. They are one bite chewy brownies. Not only are they chewy in texture, but we're also going to make them look like Chewbacca by just piping on with that same grass tip that we used earlier for the cupcakes. Now moving along to our final treat, treat number five, galaxy cookies. Now I know I do a lot of sugar cookie tutorials on this channel, so I wanted to keep these a little bit more simple. I didn't want them to be as intricate as I normally do them. Also, I know that my brother-in-law is not as big of a fan of the icing, so I was actually dipping this in white chocolate. Now I'm airbrushing it with the exact same colors that I airbrushed the peanut butter cups with earlier. Yes, that is right, Landon. I was just going to leave these galaxy, but I decided to do a little bit extra. To make things easier on myself, I'm just using this leftover piping icing that I had. And on this particular cookie, I'm just using the writing that I'm most comfortable with. I didn't put this cookie in the thumbnail because I don't really show you how I fully did this. All I really did though was use my piping icing to pipe and fill everything in. And now I'm painting it gold. I also did a little cutesy Yoda silhouette as well as those really adorable Princess Leia buns. And there you have it, a treat box perfect for somebody who loves Star Wars. Or you could use one or several of these ideas for a Star Wars party. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the Sweetie Fam. Right now, I'm uploading daily, so make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Also, be sure to comment, request, or ask a question. I love hearing from you guys. Bye!